Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we're gonna do wildlife photo editing again. This time I have Shaz. I actually made a video about his editing style some time ago, but it's way outdated. So it's time for a new one. It was pretty popular. And I think let's do a new one. You can see his photos are pretty cool. He uses Photoshop a lot, as you can notice. And he has over 2 million followers. So I think the guy is pretty popular on social media. So let's do one of his photo and we will use this photo and turn it into this one. Pretty nice and it's interesting to look at how to create this kind of edit with your own photo. So you can follow along with the same photo I'm using if you want to or you can use your own photo. That's fine with me. Just make sure you have an elephant photo and not with a clear sky but more like an elephant standing in between bushes or trees something like that. So the top should be a bit dark so we can really get the same effect. And if you didn't know, I have a wildlife photo editing course where I go a lot deeper in all the details of editing wildlife photos. Check that out. There is a discount in the description of the video. So let's get into this video and start editing. All right, into Photoshop. This is Shaz's photo on the right side. And on the left side, we have the example photo that we will, will be using to create kind of the same effect. So I want to get this effect in this photo. These photos look familiar, so it should work. So let's first try to get the same effect on this elephant. So let me put this here for now. And first of all, what I would like to do here is I would like to make a new layer and then go to edit and select fill. And here we want to select 50% gray. And let's change the blend mode to overlay. Because first of all, I wanna use the dodge tool to kind of get more highlights on the elephant so we can really separate it from the background. So when we go here and select the dodge tool, we can use this new layer to brush on the elephant. Let's first go to the settings here. I'm gonna select mid light, mid tones and Let's try something like 50 and see how this looks. So what I would like to do here, I would like to look at this photo and see where are the shadows of the elephant. You can see on the right side, we have shadows and the lighting is somewhere from the left side. So we could use that original lighting in our edit. So we want to make sure our lighting will be coming from somewhere on the top there side, right? So let's first start brushing these highlights here. Let's even drop the exposure slightly lower. I think 50 is too much. So I'm gonna go around the edge like that, maybe even lower. Let's do pretty low, like 20. And let's just start brushing these highlights on the elephant. So you want to make sure you don't brush the background, but only the elephant. So you have to be a bit careful. And what I'm doing here is I'm getting all these highlights lighter now before we do more stuff like the shadows a bit darker and all the other good stuff like lighting from the top and also the colors we need to change. But first let's do the highlights. Let's press there and also this. So especially on the left side of this elephant, I wanna have some more highlights. Here you can see it kind of gives too much effect. So I'm gonna drop the exposure here a bit lower so it's not that visible. So you can see I started with 50%, but it felt like it's way too much. So just drop it down and it's better to use a lower range and then just brush a couple of times. We also need to do the top part because lighting is coming a bit from the top there and also the left side. So the top left side we need to brush and also these areas like these muscles or bones that are sticking out on this line, they are giving us these highlights that we want to brush. All right, let's do the ear also here, just a bit more there. And what I'm basically doing is just looking at these white light spots and I'm brushing those also here, the eye. And that way we can really get beautiful highlights on our photo. Let's do also a bit here. I'm gonna make the brush a bit bigger like that. And we already brushed a lot. And when you look at a photo, you probably won't even so see a difference, but when you disable enablers, you can see how much we already brushed. And it only took a couple of minutes that, to create this effect. Let's do even more. I'm gonna make the brush bigger 
and I'm gonna drop the exposure here a bit and I'm gonna make them even lighter just like that and now let's compare we had this and now we have these highlights and what I would usually do is I would even drop the opacity just a little touch to blend this better so it doesn't go too light right so let's make the brush bigger and brush bigger parts and when you make the brush bigger you can drop the exposure a bit so you don't brush too much but now we are separating our line or sorry our elephant from the background like that and I think this is probably enough let's see this image set some highlights here and we also had to have some highlights now all right the next step is to create a new layer and then go to edit and select fill again and here I want to select 50% gray again and change the blend mode to overlay and this time I'm going to use the burn tool burn tool you can find under the dutch tool and I'm going to select midtones let's drop oh let's drop the opacity a bit the exposure I mean and what I'm going to do is you can see on this photo it's a bit darker here and here the lighting is coming from so we get lighter spots darker spots and also a bit lighter spots there so when they create kind of the same effect here we don't have that much kind of shadows and lighter spots so we want to create that same effect and also here in the trees so let's first do the ground here like we have here so let's go here and first of all I'm gonna make them a bit darker let's drop the exposure a bit so I'm gonna make these areas a bit darker but I'm gonna leave some parts like maybe there maybe there a bit lighter so we can really create those kind of sunbeams coming in between the trees let's do the background there darker and now we're really getting even more focus on our elephant here let's do a bit there darker let's do there dark and I'm basically making the background pretty dark here so I can really get all the focus on this elephant and not so much on the surroundings so you can see here we had this now we have this you can see the elephant is really standing out in this photo now and later on we can do the color adjustments because we made it a bit darker so I want to have a bit more moody colors it's pretty moody already but I would like to make the green less saturated Let's do even more there so you can really see the difference between the elephant and the background. Maybe also here in between those legs. And probably also there. There. So this doesn't have to be perfect. You just kind of brush a bit. You can do the outer parts like that. So you can really create kind of a spotlight in the center of this elephant. And let's compare. We had this was pretty light now it got pretty dark and the elephant stays light all right let's let's do even more here we can also brush a bit on the elephant on this side especially if your photo doesn't have that much shadows you can also brush here but this photo has pretty much shadow so i don't want to brush too much on this elephant because i feel like the right part is already pretty dark all right let's see this photo you can see here we get pretty cool similar effect and now we can do some color adjustments so let me make this like that and the easiest way to do this is to just put them next to each other and do color adjustments so let's do some color adjustments now i'm gonna create a u in saturation first let me put this here and what I would like to do is I'm going to drop the situation a bit here like that. And then I'm going to select this one and I'm going to click on the grass. You can see here it selects yellows, thinks the grass is a bit yellowish. And I'm also going to drop that slightly, let's say minus 30. You can even move the hue here to see if you can get a bit yellowish color. Let's do like minus five or seven or eight something like that bits a bit less and now i'm gonna add a color balance let's move these sliders around i'm gonna add some red just a touch of red and a little bit more magenta 
and let's try this one and just a little bit of blue maybe not that much just plus one all right the colors are getting closer but we are not there yet so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a curves and here I'm gonna select red I'm gonna move this slider so I'm gonna move this just a little touch up so we can get a bit more of these red tones in the darker areas let's try green let's not touch green I'm gonna leave that one and let's try blue slightly moving that to the right you can see here input is three all right that's it for this one and later on after I'm done with the lighting, I will do color corrections again to get more of this kind of color effect. But it's getting closer. So when we put this in a folder, by holding down Shift and pressing Ctrl or Command G, you can compare. We had this, and now we have this. We already did pretty much things to it. So it doesn't look as the original anymore. All right, let's press Ctrl Z to go back. And what I would like to do now is I would like to create these light beams. So for this, you could use a sun brush or you can brush yourself. So I'm going to brush myself. I'm having a new layer here and I'm gonna just select the soft round brush. And let's make sure the front color is white. Let's make the brush bigger here. And I'm gonna make a dot first. Then I'm gonna take the move tool and move it somewhere there where my lighting will be. Let's make it bigger with Ctrl T. And this is where my light will come from. So I have lighting there. Let's kind of move this away so I can get some more space here. And if I hold or press Ctrl T or Command T, I can bring up the free transform. And if you hold down Ctrl or Command, you can stretch it out like that. So let's zoom out by holding down Option or Alt and scrolling my middle mouse. And I'm gonna make more like these light beams like that. And once we create one of these beams, we can just duplicate those and create a couple more. I want to make sure they are something like, like this, but not so visible. So I'm going to drop the opacity a bit there, like that. Oh. And I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl or Command J. One more. And let's do a couple more. So if a lot of these light beams coming from there. You can also move them a bit out of the frame so you don't see a pattern in your light beams. Just like that. And let's do a couple more. And you can see how much I'm doing this. And now we're creating these sort of light beams coming from in between the trees. A bit more in front of the trees actually, but it's fine. All right, we have these light beams. I'm gonna put them all in a folder by holding on shift, selecting them all and pressing Ctrl or Command G. And I can even rotate them a bit. If you wanna have more light coming from the top, you could just with Ctrl T rotate this whole folder and it's gonna make it from a different angle. All right, we have these bit of a light beams. This photo is a bit stretched out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna crop it a bit. Maybe like this just to make it a bit smaller. I have some more space here. All right, these are our light beams. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to create a new layer. And let's, oh, I forgot something. Let's also brush the grass a bit with the dodge tool. So let's select the dodge tool and this was our elephant. Let's make a new layer on top of that one and go to edit and select fill. 50% gray again and change the blend mode to overlap. And now let's try highlights here for the range. Let's increase the exposure bit and try. Maybe not so much. Let's do something like 15 to 20. That's also too much. Let's try 10. Then it should be fine. All right. And now what I'm going to do is you can see these light spots we see at the grass. I'm gonna make them slightly lighter. Not so much the background, but more here, like kind of around this elephant like there. Maybe that's even too much. Let's 
let's drop the exposure even lower now we're creating these nice highlights you can see these highlights here are also something like that so i'm gonna get a bit of the same effect just a couple of these highlights not much bit there and i think this is already enough and let's drop the opacity like we did before just to blend this a bit better and i think this looks fine let's compare the photo we had so we're getting pretty much the same effect not exactly the same but i think it's better because you don't want to copy someone else's style just kind of learning from it all right let's now create a new layer and then i'm gonna press command command option shift e or Control alt shift e to kind of get all these all these effects that we created in a single layer and then if we press right mouse we can convert to smart object and now let's go to filter and select camera raw filter and here you can do some final corrections to your photo so just play with the settings here that's the best thing to do so what i usually do is i i just move these sliders left to right and then see what it does and then i define will i use this effect or not and how much will i use it so let me put this next to it so we can kind of see how this looks and how ours looks just to get more of the same effect I'm gonna increase the exposure a bit. I feel like this image is slightly too dark. Every screen will see this differently. So you want to make sure it doesn't get too dark. So you can see this pretty good on all screens. I think there is a bit less contrast here, but I'm kind of liking this contrast. So I'm not sure should I drop this. Let's drop it just a little touch like minus three. The highlights we can play here. If you want to have really cool highlights, you can increase this one. But if you want to keep it like a real photo, don't increase this too much because you can see here it looks like a photoshopped photo. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to slightly drop this so it looks more like a real photo. All right, let's try this one, the shadows. Shadows are pretty dark in our photo, so we can make them a bit lighter if you want. but. I, just, I think we should be careful with this because if we're going to make them too light, it's going to get a whole different kind of image. So I'm going to make them slightly lighter, not much. All right, let's play with the whites. This is the same effect like this highlights. You can increase this to get really this kind of effect on your photo, but I'm going to leave them like plus three, not much. You can see here we didn't don't have to do much here because we already did pretty much in in the layers before increasing the blacks here a bit just to make it lighter all right i'm not gonna touch the color because we did some color corrections but i can later on after this do some color corrections again just to get it perfectly how i want it here i can drop the texture a bit you can see here the texture is also dropped on this one and if you drop this you're gonna get this bit of a soft and dreamy effect but I would increase the clarity a bit to still see the details like that. All right, let's move on. Let's play with the highlights here. I'm going to increase this one slightly. You can see here we get a bit more of these highlights on its face. And let's make the lights a bit lighter there. Just a little bit of touch. And the dogs, I'm also going to I'm gonna drop those a bit. I think this looks better. All right, the shadows, I'm just slightly gonna increase in so it doesn't get too dark. Now let's move all the way down. Let's add some sharpening to make this a bit sharper and a little touch of noise reduction. And that's pretty much it for here. You can also change the colors a bit. You can see here we can kind of get different tones for the colors if you want to change that. So let's try this one maybe we can get a bit more of this green like on the right side i think it's something like this and let's try this one also i think this is enough try the last one and also the situation here 
I think gonna leave it like this. Let's press OK, and now you can see the difference here. All right, let's add a color balance as last. Let me put this here, so you can see this better. Oh, let me make this a bit like that, and we can add slightly red tones to this to kind of get more of these warm tones like there, and maybe just a little blue extra, and this. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about wildlife photo editing, make sure to check out my wildlife photo editing course. And there is a discount in the description of the video. And if you just want to watch YouTube videos, check out my other videos. I have a lot more Photoshop tutorials. Till then, catch you on the next one.